No! My video didn't record! If you haven't missed a whole lot, I did a size comparison of today's pen and stuff. So I'll do that in a second. We're actually going to do our, um, we're actually going to do our chromatography. Um, um, but today's pen and ink, I will show you, is today's ink is Sailor Monio Fuji. And my pen is the last of my birthday pens. It's my Sailor Pro Gear in the Storm Over the Ocean. Um, it's a North American exclusive. And um, yeah, it's like got a sparkly purple body and then two, two uh, light purples at the, at the finials. I have a medium nib. I always get a medium nib on Pro Gears because I like the nib size. I think it's lovely. We're going to do our chromatography now. This is one of those dual shady inks, so I don't think we're going to be surprised with what our chromatography is going to look like. This ink is a little darker, maybe a little bluer than yesterday's ink. Or perhaps maybe a little greener. Here's what that looks like so far. We'll let that do its thing. Okay. And the only thing that you missed was me coloring in the calendar, but here's our dried calendar page. You could see a lot of the dual shading just in the coloring of that, even in the writing, actually. So here's our week so far. Um, I did before uh, compare yesterday's pen to today's pen, in case you aren't familiar with uh, the Pro Gear and the Pro Gear Slim. Pro Gear Slim is a little thinner and a little shorter than the Pro Gear, but they're actually very similar in size. I like the uh, girth of the section of a Pro Gear better than I do the Pro Gear Slim, but I find the Pro Gear Slim to be very comfortable. So, so yeah, there. And I also compared it to a Lacool, which is the same size as the Slim, just not as fancy of a trim setup, and definitely not as good of a nib. Not as good of a nib, but as fancy of a nib. Um, so yeah, so there's your uh, little size comparison. And um, yeah, now we'll do our spots. There's our ink from yesterday. Super lovely. Um, I I think Maria said the ink was really dry for her, but I did not have that experience in this pen. Um, I thought it was delightful to work with, and I even wrote on like really crappy notebook paper and didn't have any problems. It, it performed beautifully for me. So I don't know. Everybody has a different experience, but mine was mine with that uh, Pannonia Orgona lilac was really lovely. So, it'll be really interesting to see what this ink looks like on this paper because this paper is coated and doesn't doesn't always show all of the properties. Um, I just like having these little notebooks to flip through. This has actually been super helpful when I'm catching up on my 30 inks, 30 days uh, on that Anne of Green Gables since I'm so far behind. Um, I just grab this little notebook and see which pens I have. Actually, the next few pens are what I have in that pen roll from earlier. Oh, you didn't see the pen roll because it wasn't recording. Stupid. Anyway. Um, ink. Pen. I have a medium nib on this one. Writes beautifully. I love it. Something about the medium sized nib on these pens for me is like, it's just perfect. Chef's kiss, chef's kiss. Okay, we need to do a splat. 
So here's how I do splats. I fill the syringe a couple times because I want to like get air out. And all you need, all you need to do splats is ink in this reservoir. You don't need to fill the whole syringe. I fill it and expel it because I'm trying to get air bubbles out. I mean, and you'll probably get a few, but this will be a big juicy splat, or it should. See, lots of ink, lots of ink. There we go. Can't wait to see what this looks like dried. Also, happy fountain pen day. Fountain pen day, y'all. Did you get anything good today? Um, I didn't really, I didn't really get anything like specific to fountain pen day. I um, finally ordered that Twisby Eco, the purple glow, because I forgot. Like I was so excited about it, and then the day that it came out, I like forgot all about it. So I ordered that, and then I ordered some inks from Gourmet Pen Shop. A couple of the uh, Troublemaker inks, Polar Lights. And I think Karina suggested uh, Butterfly Dream, so I got bottles of those. Because I don't know that bu bu Butterfly Dream was in the sample pack from Roxy. I don't remember. So I was just like, whatever, I'll just get it. So I'm getting two Shimmer Troublemaker inks. Where's my ink sample? I just had it. We just used it. Here it is. We just used it. We just used it for the splat. Where'd it go? But I found it. I found it. Big ol' splat. I don't know about you, but I'm kind of excited to look at something other than purple. Like, as much as I love purple, it'll be really fun to finally do random draws out of the bucket. Uh, those are super, it's super fun to do those. I love it. So... I just didn't want to get something that, like, didn't work. Because I'm picky about the first inking of a pen. Um, Sailor. Mario. Fuji. Pen. Sailor Pro Gear. I think it's Storm Over the Ocean. I could be wrong. I haven't been using it. The swipe is a little more legible than the one from yesterday. The one from yesterday is basically non-existent, um, even though I did one. So you can already see the dual shady in some of the parts of the swatch where it's dry. It's very subtle. I don't notice so much, well, I was going to say in the writing. I don't notice it as much, but the AN and Monyo looks like we will get some dual shadiness in it. The darker bits, it looks like you'll see some. So I'm very excited to see what this looks like dry. Once again, here's our splat. Looks like we're getting kind of a halo around. Why is it not focusing? We're getting a halo sort of around um, the uh, big splats. So can't wait to see what these extra layers will look like. The shading in this ink is beautiful. I love, I mean, I love shading. How do y'all feel about shading? I feel like you either love shading or you love sheen, and not many people like both. Um, for me, the sheen, I don't like super, super duper sheeny. I like to be able to see the base color. Um, yeah. I like to see the base color. Um, I don't like the ones where the sheen overtakes everything. It's fine, like some of it is fine, but anyway, yeah. But anyway, here's our um, pen and ink for today. The last of my birthday pens. I'm very excited to get on to bigger and better things. I have some pens to clean out, uh, and yeah. <laughs> I'm also, this weekend, I have one more swatch video to get up, and also um, I have a 50 States Ink video to get up. We got the newest ones in and I did the video but haven't uploaded it. So, um, you'll probably get an extra video on Saturday and extra video on Sunday. Unless I get one of them up later today. But, um, yeah. 
Otherwise, I will see you again tomorrow with day three of 30 inks. No, day three. Day five of 30 inks, 30 days. Today is the fourth. Five comes after four. Tomorrow's my friend's birthday, actually. Um, anyway, I'm rambling. So have a wonderful day. What pen and ink are you using today? Um, yeah. How do you feel about sailor pens? How do you feel about sailor inks? Just let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. And I will see you again tomorrow with day five of 30 inks, 30 days. Have a wonderful day. Take care. Bye-bye. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Before I go. The chromatography. I could have shown this tomorrow, but I just saw the strip here. So we have some pink, some yellow, and some, like, sky blue, which will make this a little greener. So, yeah. So there you go. There's the chromatography. Okay. Now I'm really leaving. Have a wonderful day. Take care. Bye-bye.